campus ministry uh, to impart the world in diverse ways with the gospel. Um, today we're going to launch um, a drama ministry of the church. As I look through the scriptures, you will see that um, the, the, the whole Bible is a, is a drama. I don't know how many of you have realized that. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's, it's just a story, you know, and um, it's, it's, it's amazing. But Paul described that in the first Corinthians chapter 2, let's turn our Bibles to that, when he says, you know, he talks about the, you know, talks about speaking the wisdom of God in mystery. Okay, so the Bible, the, the word of God, is, it's a mystery. Uh, but it's been played out so well that anytime we read the Bible, the drama behind it makes us understand what should have been a mystery. And so sometimes we try to preach the word and uh, like we normally put it, we want to make it plain. But making the word of God plain through preaching can be a very difficult exercise. Uh, the best approach, if we had time and resources, is to dramatize it the same way uh, it's happened uh, in the Bible days. Because the people there then saw everything happening, and that was how they experienced what the Lord was teaching. So if Christ was teaching, everything he did, how he preached, you know, his, even his demeanor, his facial expression was actually speaking to the people. So the word of God was dramatized in those days and I believe that the impact was significant. And so we realized that dramatizing the word of God can have more impact. Even those of us, um, I mean our psychologists and uh, you know, would tell us that we remember more what we see than also yes, than what we just hear. And so visualization is very key. And I believe that there are many of us, some scenes that we have seen growing up, either in movies and not like this scene alone kind of carries you, stays with you throughout your lifetime. And uh, there are many, I'm sure we've heard about thousands of messages, but we don't remember a lot of them because they were not dramatized. And so um, as a church, we. We felt that it's very important. Uh, I know some of us, by God's grace, we've been blessed with um, various gifts uh, where we can use it to edify the church and also to present the gospel message to, uh, to the rest of the world. Um, I don't know, but if you just think about the story of Job, for example, I mean, you could say it's a whole story that uh, can be dramatized. I mean, to look at the various scenes of Job, right, from, you know, when, you know, he was called and how the tragedy is, I mean, happened, and uh, think about just imagining your own mind's picture, the friends who came to him and how they counseled him and how he was seated, his positioning. Where was he seated? Was it just on the floor? Because we're told that it source all over him. You know, so all, all this, I believe we can appreciate the impact better um, if it is dramatized. I think about the songs of Solomon. I mean, when you read that story, it's a mystery to many people. But I believe that all this can be dramatized and the impact can be very significant. If you think about the poetry of the prophets, uh, you know, even Jesus Christ himself and the parables he used, these were all stories uh, which I believe can be dramatized. And I believe that he was able to make more impact through some of the stories that he told. And today, anytime we remember some of these stories, we always uh, appreciate the message that the Lord is presenting to us. So we thank God so much. Um, I'm told that some of us have uh, volunteered to be part of it. Um, and so today we will, um, we're going to formally launch the drama uh, ministry. I know it's uh, 
how the semester is ending. We hope that next semester when we come, um, we will really have a proper setup so that by the grace of God, we will have various occasions as far as the church program is concerned where we will um, have our drama group performing. Um, when we observe the quality also, well, now we have a YouTube channel, we could, you know, get to the point where we can put some of this also on our YouTube channel for the rest of the world to benefit from it. Um, so we have one of our sisters, Sister Ruth Maureen, who is helping us um, start this. So I'm going to invite her um, to say a word or two, and then they say they have a sketch for us today. Just for you to see uh, what is coming. All right. So, yeah, so we will, um, yes. So you can you can come, um, yes. Praise the Lord. And we would like to plead for everyone's support because it is as much as an evangelistic group as any other ministry in the church. mission is to evangelize and to make the word of God as practical as possible to have So, yeah, so maybe I'll contact the team that we need help with the, the thing. So, yeah. Okay. Like, so the group studies this evening, but you know, yes. we have Bible study, so afterwards. Yes. 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 Studies. Oh my God. So we have to go now, or what do you think? No. I'm very hungry right now. I have to go and eat before. So, um, Yes, I have to win it. Ah, you know you I can't concentrate. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. You just took some snack before the class. Oh, but it's just snack. See, we I'm have just like 15 minutes to the service. Let's go and sweep the church and then go oh. and eat later. You know I have to go and eat. Um, I will see you in church. That's when I'm going to eat. Okay. I mean, um, you, you, you are going to sweep the place. Yes, I'm going to sweep yes, the Yes, so place. let me buy the time and then go and eat. I'll see you there. That's what today I'll be doing. Sure, sure. Hello, bitches. Hold please on, You're invited to come to church with us today. Oh, sorry. I have something to do, so next time I'll join. Oh, you dear. All the oh. time you give excuses. <laughs> no, well, I'll join I'm, you next time. I hope okay. you join us. Okay. Yes. All right. So Thank I'll you. See you. I'm taking the lead. Bye. So I'm heading towards the adult department. Oh, well, we can see that the three friends are coming back from the lectures, and they are very hungry and very tired. And we also noticed that Stephanie chose the work of God over food. I wonder how many of us will be able to do that after a long day of lecture and you are very hungry and very tired. Wow. Like, you are seeing the level of commitment from Stephanie's life. Well, let's continue watching. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You are all welcome to today's service. It's been wonderful seeing each one of you. Praise Jesus again. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. 
Let's make sure we take their words into action. Let's not be the hearers alone. And God will bless you richly. Amen. Amen. Let's listen to the following announcement. The choristers are to meet Mama Lily on Tuesday, 7 p.m. at your various um, a usual meeting point. Um, let's wait on Pastor for the next announcement. Oh, okay. So God bless you all for coming. Go with your blessings. You are welcome, my son. Very much. Okay, so call Sister Stephanie for me. Good morning, Pastor. Yeah, good morning, my daughter. How are you doing? Please, I'm fine, thank you. Please take your seat. Yeah, how was service today? Um, by God's grace, service was really powerful. I was indeed blessed. The Holy thank Spirit God. really took over. We bless God, we bless yeah. God, we bless God. Yeah, so, exams is next week, right? Yes, please. How far with your preparations? Um, I've, I've done some parts, but I still have a lot to cover. Okay. I think God will help me finish. Amen. Just as you said, the Lord will help you finish in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the truth of the matter is for some time now, I've been observing you, your consistency with the service of God, how you are always there earlier than everybody to sweep the church, prepare everything, arrange the church for the start. And you are always there for evangelism team, the prayer meeting, you are there. Whenever we are looking for people for follow-up, you are always there. I want to encourage you that your labor in the Lord will never be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, Jesus said something at the latter part of John chapter 12, verse 26, that any man that served me, him will my father honor. There is an honor for all believers, but it is specifically reserved for those who would do the service of God passionately. You know, there is a precious promise of God in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 13 to verse 16. I want you to read that. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 13 to verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 13 to 16. And it shall come to pass that if you would hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give you the rain of your land in his season, the first and the latter rain, that you may gather in your corn and your wine and your oil, and I will send grass in your fields for your cattle, that you may eat and be full. So you see the fruit of humility, and when you humble yourself, forsake all forms of pride, choose to do the work of God, these are the many, many blessings the Lord has reserved for you. In the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 27, Jesus said, Whosoever will be the chiefest among you, let him first be a servant. So the way up is the way of humility. If you want to attain any height in this world at all, first be humble. Be passionate about the things of God. Do the work of God just as your own work. And he himself will honor you. You know, the, the harvest indeed is plenteous, but the laborers are few. I want, I want to challenge you that let the Lord find you among those few people and your blessings will never elude you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to pray for you. Almighty God, I thank you so much for the life of my daughter, Stephanie. Thank you for what you have been using her for in this church. I pray that you exalt her so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in this exam that is about to come, I declare that you glorify yourself in her life in Jesus' name. Amen. I bless you, Father, because I believe you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name have we prayed. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, God bless you, Pastor. Amen. In bless fact, you too. This encouragement is so timely because okay. I was considering, you know, foregoing some of the church work to concentrate fully on my studies, but I think the Lord gave me grace to be able to balance it well. Okay, that's Thank fine. Thank you. God All bless right. you. Okay, bless you too. Have a wonderful day, my daughter. All right. Yeah, so Pastor Dom, how was service today? Service was so powerful. We God bless, bless God. you, Pastor. We bless God. I hope you are planning for the evening service too. Very well. Very yes, well. That would be great.
Well, the test of faith, the test of commitment from Stephanie's side is still ongoing. And it's amazing how the pastor singles her out for this part of her life. This really shows that whatever we are doing in this life, people are watching. And at the end, we will receive our reward and then our punishment. Let's wait and see if Stephanie will be able to continue with her level of commitment. So does that mean that the segmentation and the clustering analysis will give the identification of the homogeneous customer and product for strategic marketing? Yeah, it gives price and initiatives. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm trying to remember something the lecturer said. Um, oh, something about modeling, constraints. Uh, I don't really know. Do you have any idea about that one? Yeah, I think I wrote it somewhere here. Oh, so you actually did? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he said that the time series modeling for the. Oh, then hold on. I want to write it. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, he said that the time series modeling for the optimized um, segmentation can be found from cost theorem in that professor's Sorry. Google. Uh, so he said we can find. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Um, he said that the constrained optimization creates business rules by accounting for dynamic business constraints. Yeah, yeah, for effective solution. Exactly, exactly. Oh, sorry. 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 Fine. So we can't even move to the second topic. Because yeah, we can talk about the functioning of the uh, Hold on. Fit. Hold on. Do you need anything? No, no, I'm fine. Stephanie, why? Sorry. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. Do you need some water or something? Oh, no, I'm better. Oh, you sit down. We'll get to for you. you it's rest. almost time for church. I want to go and set up the place. Really? really? Yes. What? <coughs> You're even coughing. I like to church. Now, just say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes, hey. um, see, I have made a commitment with the Lord that regardless of whatever, if I have the little strength, I will go and sweep the church. So I don't think this one will stop me. What do you hmm. guess? Why are you sick? Yes, I'm sick, but I have to do this. I'm not dying now. I want to just give of my best to the Lord whilst I have little energy. And I know the exam is tomorrow. You are concerned. Thanks, like for coming to sh- to study with me. But I think um, I would manage and go. <coughs> uh, no, hold on. Let me just put my head down first. And let me tell you this. Hold on. I'm just like I'm just amazed. Hold on, bitches. You would agree with me on this. Mm-hmm. We came to your room in the first place because we were thinking you are not feeling well. Mm-hmm. I came from the fifth floor down here so that we can study together and here you are telling us that you are going to sweep the chapel. Like, is there no any other sister to sweep the chapel? As for me, me, I'm not going because tomorrow I have a paper to write. So I have to go to the room and then go and study. But, okay, hold on. You, you sit down. You're not feeling well. I can call Sister Magdalene to come and sweep the chapel for us with the excuse that we have a paper tomorrow. Even God understands. Oh, the God up there, he doesn't understand that you have a paper tomorrow to write. God understands, I know. But it's my personal commitment. Thank you for your hey, concern. Commitment I being. I have to take my leave time. Maybe this commitment, I can't. Oh, thank you, guys. I think I'll see you later. Hey, it's going to be on a night level, though. Ah, hey. Leave it, Jerry. She even thinks that we are devils. Don't worry. No, no. As for me, me, I'm not going, I'm going to my room. Since she's left, let's take some rest. You can get something to eat. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Have something. Hey, and the movie. I'm going to watch the movie right now. I'm yeah. trying to watch. Yeah, you can see that Stephanie and her friends are having a group stage, and Stephanie is sick. But I saw something, and I'm wondering if you also saw what I saw. Like she's sick, she's coughing, and she said, provided she has little strength in her, she will still go and prepare the place for service. 
And I wonder how many of us will be able to do that. Some of us have small headache that we can even run. But we prefer to sleep in our beds and then, I don't know, it's like nothing is at stake. Well, that's the level of commitment Stephanie has reached. Well, they are coming to write the exams. Let's see what will happen next. Like, don't think only been smiling. The people are hey, Charlie, the lecturer. Mm-hmm. This lecturer, they are bitchy. Hey, 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 you guys are here. Hey. This is the paper. Oh, the exams. Well, you take it like that. Hey, look at this paper. Like, hey, this lecturer, hmm, he's really wicked, though. Hmm. This exam was really an exam, so like, hey. this man swear that. I was thinking the question hey. would be simple. That was why yesterday I went to watch the movie. Question four. Question question four. Hmm. Hey. I feel like I shouldn't have, but I think it's even good I didn't even like study again because even if I had studied, I don't think I would be able to answer the questions. Hey, hey, this so it's a fair deal. Hey, hey but you, I'm just looking Steph, the board. Um, I saw your head on the table hey. throughout. Were you able to write? Hey. Yes, I still had some headaches, so I was just managing. Oh, but sorry. I wrote something small. Okay. I see the way you guys are complaining. I just think you should pray and leave the rest to God. Or what do you okay. see? Yeah. So this one there, I think the God factor is important to Just leave it to him like that. This one there, I believe in him, but there's something about it. For this, because this lecturer, hey, hmm, after everything. Hey, yes, 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 yes. What? Guys, hmm. what were writing the paper? Maybe because me, I didn't understand what I was writing. My mind was taking me somewhere. So, what about the party? How you are done with the papers? And me, the way the lecture has swerved me, honestly, me, this paper, I even leave it somewhere before I get to the room. Okay. Yes, so a party. I was thinking we can go to the pool. Oh, my sister. Pool. Oh, yeah. Me, for me, I want to go to the mall. What do you think? I think the no, mall is so you. Okay, you are coughing, so you can't go to the pool. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you guys yeah. think? So, I think we should go to the mall. We can go yeah. to KFC or something any, like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you think? I don't have money. Oh, don't, don't worry. worry. I have okay. money there. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I trust you guys. Hey, how about you going to Miracle Center to pray? Hey, you are you pray. Please, oh. I'm not going to any Miracle ah. Center. Let's go and party. Ah. It wasn't easy. Right now, they are done with exams and. But I'm having a bad feeling, no, Charlie. All of them stated all right, but you can see that the other two friends are complaining. And I'm imagining how Stephanie was able to even write the paper because she was sick and coughing throughout. So, well, the annual um, award ceremony is also on, uh, coming on. You will have to wait and see what will happen next. Stay glued to your seat and enjoy the rest of the drama. Oh, welcome to our annual award ceremony, which takes place at the end of every academic year. Before we go on to the ceremony, I would want to invite some dignitaries off stage. So our first dignitary is in the person of Dr. Philip Paulson, representing the American Embassy. Let's give it up for him. Please, we can do better, we can do better. Dr. Paulson, you are welcome. It's an honor to have you in our midst. Our next dignitary is in the person of Mr. Stephen Walters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Walters is from the World Bank. <laughs> Mr. Walters, it's an honor to have you in our midst. Our last dignitary is our own dean of the College of Humanities, Professor Mrs. Asante. Please let's give it up for her. <laughs> give it up for the prof. 
Prof, you are welcome. We are honored to have you in our midst. Now, without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, fellow staff, students, all protocols observed. This year's Best Student Award goes to no other person than Miss Stephanie Brown. Please let's give it up for her as she comes up stage. We can do it better. We can do it better. Congratulations, Miss Stephanie. We are proud of you. So, to present this award, we will invite our dean to help with the presentation of the award. Miss Wilson, please do us the honors of presenting the award. Results have set a record in our noble university. As a result, as, aside the 20,000 Ghana city that is given to our best students every year, our noble dignitaries from the World Bank and the American Embassy have decided to give her a scholarship to further her studies in no other university than the prestigious Harvard University. Please, let's give it up for them. Price from a 20,000 Ghana CD to 50,000 Ghana CD. Please, let's appreciate our dignitaries. They've done well. Ms. Stephanie, please say a word of appreciation to our dignitaries. Thank you, thank you very much. In fact, I'm short of words. I don't know what to say. But I want to especially thank my dean for organizing this every year to encourage students and also to our guests from the World Bank and the American Embassy. I want to thank you too for this award and my God will bless you. And also I want to encourage all um, my fellow students here that this just didn't come um, easily. It wasn't easy at all because there were a lot of times I went through a lot of trials, but with hard work and determination, I was able to come this far. So I want to encourage you that when you are, as you are here on campus, um, give all your best to study in your books and don't give chance to laziness or mediocrity. And lastly, I want to say the secret to success is a consistent fellowship with the Lord and a balanced life, doing the work of God and also studying your books as well. In fact, my life is a living testimony that it pays to serve God. Wow. Wow. Please, did you all hear that? That was an awesome speech by our award winner. Miss Stephanie said something that I want us to take home. She said, the secret to her success has been what? Diligence, hard work, and also what? Commitment to the things of God. And as she rightly said, it pays to serve God. Thank you all. I appreciate them. I think they've done a great job.
of God, the Lord has been blessing us with so many wonderful things. We have learned that there is no way we can get to become spiritual giants if we don't invest time in reading the Bible and praying. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, says the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 5, verse 39, the Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, Legon, invites you to their weekly campus Kononia. Dearly beloved, come join us as we engage ourselves in spiritual interviews. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask anything, whatever, and it shall be done unto you. It touched me so much. Say, can, can this be true? Is there something like this when I give my life to Christ? Now I know it was the such the scriptures. Bible studies and teachings. Fashions. And so if you have somebody who is driven by a purpose, that person is not ready to accept no for an answer in terms of pursuing and realizing that purpose. Academic talk, prayer life upliftment, and many more. Join us this and every Sunday at exactly 4 p.m. It will be covered live on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel, DLCA Label. Join the discussion as we discuss the scriptures. So God will carry on the good work in them and we will pass it on to generations after. DLC, Ladies and Gentlemen, Intellectuals.